once again, same game, same questions. Not the same exact questions, of course, but um, same starting questions. So again, take a second, test yourself, make sure you know how to answer all these questions at start. So do one through eight real quick. Um, then unpause the video and watch me go through it, and we'll see what happens. Again, hopefully you're getting the most out of this because I think getting a 90 or 100% on this test can really put you in a good spot. So make sure you're working for that. So go ahead and pause the video and then go from there. Talking about all these words, once again, same sheet I have had before. Addition is some plus more than. Don't forget the asterisk means that we switch for more than. Subtraction is difference minus less than. Don't forget we switch for less than. But everything else, the order stays the same. Uh, sum plus difference minus quotient divided by all stays the same. The reason I didn't read any of the multiplications is because, as we've hopefully learned, that's always number first, variable second. So that will never change. But for the rest of them, whatever is first goes first, whatever is second goes second, except for these two where we flip those two things around. And what you should be doing at this point is writing down any words that you still are having issues with so you can study that and know them by Friday when you take that assessment. So the keywords for addition, again, sum plus, I'm not going to write them, you know them. You can go ahead and do it right here. Sum plus more than, keywords for subtraction, uh, difference minus less than, multiplication, is um, product times each per every of division is quotient and divided by so I will answer the other things where it says what's special again what's special about more than is that we switch the order we talked about the words for subtraction write those down make sure they're filled out so you get your points but what's special about less than just like more than is again we switch the order Keywords for multiplication we talked about, but again, the special about the order of multiplication is number first, no sign. So don't put an X, don't put a dot, don't put anything. You just put 6X or 5Y or 2Z or whatever it might be, nothing to attach. Keywords for division, again, we talked about, but the division part is that division is written as a fraction with the first over the second. So again, however you write your fraction, whatever goes first is on top, whatever goes second is on the bottom. So let's go through these things real quick and get you to your math XL. So 8 minus the number Y, minus means we subtract. 8 is first, so it goes in front. Y is second, so it goes in the back. That's it. Sum means plus. Again, and once you learn the words, it's good. First thing talked about is X. Second thing talked about is 7. Follow the order. Respect the order. Get the questions right. Again, I think this is an easy enough test that as long as you get these things right, you should put yourself at least into a solid position. I don't know where your grades are, but I know that usually if you can pull yourself up to like a 95 or 100 percent on a test or quiz, it usually makes a decent difference in giving you some insurance. Divided by means it's going to be a fraction. Remember that whatever is first goes on top. Whatever is second goes on the bottom. Quotient, again, means divided by. Whatever's first goes on top. Whatever's second goes on the bottom. Pay attention to the order. If you pay attention to the order, everything will work. If you do not pay attention to the order, you're going to miss a whole lot of half points here, half points there, and then you end up with a C, a D, or a F like you might have gotten the first time. So just be careful. Times means multiply. Remember that when we multiply, it's number first, variable second, no sign. Product, once again, product of a number P and 11. This means multiply. So therefore, you're going to put 11P, number first, variable second. Each room holds seven people. Each means multiply. So you're going to have seven times something, but remember with each, per, and every, you want to make sure you use a useful variable. So you say each what, and we're talking about each room. So we're going to talk about 7R. Even though it says seven people, it's not 7P. Each room holds seven people, so you're going to do 7R. Again, the variable should be based off of whatever you're talking about, based off of each, per, or every. The difference of two and a number U. Difference means subtract. Two goes first. U goes second. That's all. There's no magic to this. It's follow and respect the order. More than means respect the fact that this switches. More than is plus. Five was in front, but we put it in the back because we switch. T was last, but we move it to the front because we switch. As long as you've got that down, you should be okay. Difference means subtract. 10 is first. A is second. That's all. 
of three-fourths of a number G means take the three-fourths, multiply it by G because remember that that means of means multiply in that situation. Three-fourths of a number G means take three-fourths times G. The sum of a number 8 and P, sum means add. 8 is first, P is second. That's your answer. That's all it takes. So I sincerely hope that you're working to get this stuff down. I would hate, especially if you're in my room, I would hate to see you um, take this quiz. It's probably the easiest quiz you're going to take all year and get a C, a D, or an F on it. This should be an easy A. There's no reason why you should miss this outside of just being way too stubborn for your own good. Less than means subtract, but it also means switch the order as we've talked about for the last three days. Four is first, but because we switch, we move it to the back. Y is second, but because it's um, switched, we're going to move that to the front. A number H minus three minus means subtract. H first, three second. Respect the order. As long as you do that, everything will work out. Four divided by a number T divided by means it's a fraction. Whatever is first goes on top. Whatever is second goes on the bottom. 4 over t is it. A number n plus 5. Plus means we're adding. That's first. This is second. Another word problem. 9 cats per day. Per means multiply. So we're going to do 9 times something. And the way you figure that out is by saying per what. And we're talking about per day. So it's going to be 9d for days, not 9C for cats because it's per day. And then the last one, the quotient of a number R and 7 means we're going to look at a fraction. Whatever is first goes on top. Whatever is second goes on the bottom. And that is all. Again, hopefully you've been working to try to get yourself in a position to pass this course. I think that as long as you turn it on for the last two chapters, you should be okay. Uh, but again, that all comes down to whether or not you want to do it. We haven't made this difficult for you to pass. We've just asked for you to do your job and make sure you... Um, Try to learn whatever you're supposed to learn. So outside of that, go to MathXL, complete the work, and good luck. I'll talk to you all later.